Section 3.6, Function Combination and Composition. For these videos, go ahead and let f of x equal 3x squared minus 2x, and you will want to write these down, and let g of x equal 5x minus 4. The first thing we're going to talk about is function combination. In function combination, we combine the outputs of each function in the specified way. For example, f plus g of x means we take f of x plus g of x. So we plug x into both the function for f and the function for g. We get our outputs. And we combine these, and in this case we combined it using addition. What this looks like with our equations is that we get 3x squared minus 2x plus 5x minus 4, which simplifies to 3x squared plus 3x minus 4. Subtraction looks similar. If we have f minus g of x, it's f of x minus g of x, which equals in this case, 3x squared minus 2x minus 5x minus 4. So make sure that you distribute this negative, which equals 3x squared minus 2x minus 5x plus 4, 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. For multiplication, we multiply the outputs together. So f times g of x is the same as f of x times g of x. In this case, we get 3x squared minus 2x times 5x minus 4. We can FOIL. We have 15x cubed minus 22x squared plus 8x. And lastly, we can look at division. If we have f over g of x, this is the same as f of x divided by g of x, provided that g of x does not equal 0. So for this example, we have Let's write it over here. 3x squared minus 2x all over 5x minus 4. That is function combination. So the important thing to remember is that we're combining the outputs of each function. So you find the outputs for each function individually and then combine them from there. This is different than function composition and we already worked the examples above. If you're ready to talk about function composition, make sure that you go on to the next video.